Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and today we are going to be modifying a dollar store BB gun. I haven't made a video like this in a while, but I'm excited to make one again and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. If you aren't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and also give the video a like. The airsoft pistol we will be using in today's video, I recently purchased from the dollar store for $2.50 and was quite impressed when I opened it up and noticed that it actually had a removable clip and a little bag of airsoft BBs and as you will see in a second shoots quite fast as well but I'm gonna see in this video if we can increase the feet per second of this little toy airsoft or BB gun by either modifying the spring inside of it or replacing it with a more powerful spring and I'm going to see if I can confirm the velocity increase using my chronograph. First, let me give a quick demonstration of this super cheap airsoft pistol. So here is the magazine. Let's go ahead and load in a few shots. So to do that, of course, just pull down the spring, take some of your BBs, and just place them in. So once the clip is loaded up, you just slide it into the handle of the gun. And then to cock your first shot, just cock the slide back and push it forward. And now your $2.50 airsoft gun is ready to shoot. Here is the indoor range I've set up. This of course is my chronograph and the lighting is not perfect in here, but hopefully it still works. I have a pillow in the background just for a soft stop. So let's go ahead and fire a few shots and see if the gun's fast enough to even show up on the chronograph. Testing in three, two, one. That did not register as a number. Let's try once more, but I doubt it'll work again. So as anticipated, uh, the gun is too slow for my chronograph. So let's just get out a sheet of paper and see what it does. As you can see, I've now set up a sheet of paper. So let's see if this cheap airsoft gun can go through the paper at all. Firing in three, two, one. First shot did not even go through the paper. So although it looks fast, it is obviously not strong at all. One more shot, I'll move a little closer. All right, let's move in on the paper. So although it does shoot pretty fast for a dollar store airsoft gun, you can see that it didn't even make it through a single sheet of lined paper. So the goal by the end of today's video is to make it blow through that paper. Now that we've seen just how pathetic this little pistol is, it's time to tear it apart and see if we can't make it a little faster. Here is our airsoft gun completely disassembled and before anyone asks why I'm using a screwdriver on a multi-tool, it's because I'm at school and this is all I have right now. Obviously it's not ideal but as you can see we were still able to separate apart our airsoft gun. Now our airsoft gun operates on a fairly simple principle. Here you can see the main mechanics of the gun. There's two springs, one at the front and one at the back. The spring at the back is simply used to ensure that the slide is as forward as possible. So when you cock the gun, the spring at the front will make sure that it always goes towards the front. So for our purposes in today's video, there is no point in upgrading that spring there. We are mainly interested at the spring at the back. Here is a close up of the spring at the back of the gun. So what happens is when you cock the slide, you can see this back plunger, we'll call it, moves towards the rear of the gun and it will then lock on this little thing right here, which I don't really want to do. Instead, what I'm going to do is lift it out of the case so that we can analyze the spring that was originally used. Take out the plunger as well. And here is the spring that provides our power. This spring on the left is the one we removed from the gun and for a dollar store spring I must admit it actually has quite a bit of force behind it. 
um, which I'm quite impressed by. Um, now I had no idea what the spring inside the gun looked like so I just grabbed some random springs from around my house and a few other places and actually turns out that the only spring I have similar is shorter with a very similar spring compression rate. So um, what I've decided to do for this project is actually use a larger spring with also a similar spring compression rate and what we're going to be doing is stacking the springs just like this. So that means that now when you go to compress both of them together it will get a lot tougher right about there. So the theory behind it is that it will make the plunger go forward with a lot more force and make our airsoft BB go faster. I should also mention that I don't want to simply replace the spring with something crazy powerful because the gun is constructed out of pretty cheap plastic and I don't want it to break. Anyway, let's go ahead and put this together. There is our set of dual springs installed. You can see the original bronze one and now the bigger silver one. I can definitely tell you it's going to be more powerful. If I don't keep my finger here, the gun just wants to blow up. So hopefully we can get at least a few test shots in before it actually does blow up. Alright, I'm going to go ahead now and see if I remember how to put it all back together. Here's the pistol fully reassembled. You can tell there's a lot of tension in the slide now. You can even see if you look closely the silver spring from the back of the gun. I'm worried it's going to just explode on our first test shot, but let's keep our fingers crossed and hope we don't explode it and also see an improve in velocity. Here we go with the heavier spring firing in 3, 2, 1. Definitely a lot more power. Let's see if we can get one to go through the paper. Test shot with a more powerful spring in three, two, one. Definitely more powerful. Let's fire a few more and see if any can just go through the paper. I'll go a little closer like I did with the old version. Three, two, one. Oh, that one broke through but still bounced back. And one more shot for good measure. Same with that one. Alright, so let's go see the results and then I'll do a conclusion. Alright, so here are the final results. You can see some of the unmodified pistol shots over here. Um, they don't even go get close to going through the paper. And then the two right in the middle of the screen are the modified spring as you can see they almost made it through they kinda did but they bounced back it is ripped as you can see the other ones are not ripped so we did indeed make it more powerful so there you have it everybody our spring modification did increase the power of the gun um, the testing was obviously kinda lame I apologize for that but the reality is that is it is a two dollar and fifty cent airsoft pistol and if we were shooting distance, which I would love to do, but we're inside so we can't, I bet it would have picked up probably 10 yards, maybe more. Hard to say, but it did definitely make it more powerful. And you know what, for a $2.50 airsoft gun, you can't really complain. Um, I might do this in the future with a more powerful airsoft gun and make it even more powerful. I just picked up the chronograph, so I'm hoping I can do some cool experiments with it. Let me know in the description down below what you guys would like to see, whether it be 
something with my chronograph or just anything in general. Um, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you liked the video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.